HMS Thunderer, the British battleship, has so many things going for it, even in 2024. And uh, the battleship that has pretty, pretty insane guns, eight of them, and these have pretty insane HE power, which I will be able to show you here. 63% fire chance and 8200 alpha damage, which is pretty high for a 457 millimeter guns for this ship. And I mean, it is crazy fire starter as you can able to see. I got three fires on this poor GK. So you can imagine what this ship is really is. I mean, uh, it got removed for sale because of this exact thing. This firepower with HE and AP combined with really really strong dispersion that it can get out of it is what makes Thunder pretty broken. Combined with the fact that it also has 12.3 km concealment makes this ship pretty fearsome to deal with. A battleship that can literally farm battleships with ease with its HE once it pushes into the Thunderer firing range. It, uh, I mean, it does have 21.5 km firing range which is not like really the highest uh, compared to normal battleships but it is still not bad 21.5 kilometer firing range basically means that you can still easily able to have uh, good gun range and farm gk like here in around like 15 kilometers i mean and when you set couple of fires you can always switch to ap and deal even more damage to the broadside uh, battleship like here that, that i'm doing even though i just uh, didn't aim that well I basically uh, reduced the HP of Kurfus like uh, almost half now. And yeah, that's the power of this Thunder. It can be pretty annoying to deal with. The way to play the Thunder is pretty simple, like I'm doing here. Put yourself in a kiting position since its armor is not the best. All of the ship is basically having a armor plating of 32 mm with only the armor belt or the citadel armor that is pretty tanky and can tank or bounce some shells. Other than that, I think the Thunder is not a really good ship to tank damage uh, directly. On the other hand, with a good concealment and five heals, which are not super heals, by the way, just like uh, you know, you usually get super heals on uh, typical British battleships like Conqueror and St. Vincent. Well, in this case, Thunder has slightly better heal than normal battleships, so it heals pretty well. And also having a good reload time of around 60 seconds, if I can able to show you. In this case, it's 53 since I had tanked some damage as well as got some. Oh, by the way, Citadel in the Salem. <laughs> uh, but okay. But these heals are having the base 60 seconds of cooldown time, which basically means that your heals will get ready very quickly. And that's also a very nice thing about the Thunderer. Uh, okay, let's talk about the dispersion values if you guys don't know. So the dispersion of these guns is pretty spicy, like it's pretty crazy as you can able to see. Uh, almost always pinpoint accurate dispersion on like uh, targets. And uh, what Thunderer has is that it has 1.9 sigma so a dispersion that is basically having 1.9 sigma with battle cruiser dispersion by the way what basically means that the more sigma you have which for the thunder is pretty high value the more accurate the guns or the shells are gonna be landing in the middle of that dispersion ellipse so i always talked about this in my videos that uh, sigma values are important and dispersion ellipse with the battle cruiser dispersion that it has is like play a whole lot of role in uh, deciding the battleship's accuracy or the guns to be that accurate and in this case thunder has pretty pretty good like probably one of those best accuracy values for a dispersion ellipse like thunder so that's that's one of the things about the thunder as you can able to see that you can pump out quite decent damage with he and ap and the way to play thunder is pretty simple you just go around the flanks if the enemy team is pushing no problem whatsoever you always have he to deal with battleships and he is pretty insane and i'm talking about if four or five shells hits on the target you can deal like 10 to 13 thousand damage with those shells <laughs> so i mean it's gonna be pretty rough for a battleship and a couple of fires as well so yeah the he is ridiculously strong i would say a bit broken on thunder and the ap is also very very nice in this case, I think I just, yeah, slightly missed my aim. 
and Azuma who was broadsiding well you can able to see that uh, my dispersion in this case is also not the best but again one shell still does almost 15,000 damage which is again a really nice thing to see the reload time of the thunder is also pretty spicy 22 seconds with my build 26 seconds of reload time base i mean the adrenaline rush kicked in to give me slightly better reload time so combined with all these facts with the dispersion that you can able to see like right now and uh, yeah with the fire chance with the itchy shells you can be pretty annoying and look at that two fires on this musashi i mean this is the play style of thunder you just basically put yourself in kiting position if the enemy ships is pushing which in this case enemy ships are doing that's really gonna be a problem here again slightly missing out on my aim if i would have aimed slightly better i could have easily citadel this musashi from 17 kilometers because thunder has very good penetration for ap but you can able to see my shells some some of them land short and some of them didn't even manage to get into that thing which is citadel so that's kind of sucks but hey you can always switch to he and farm really crazy damage and you can able to see that i'm just farming this power here azuma did massive 11,000 damage again a vulnerability of a thunder here what happened with the power right now with the shells here is the shells land short because of the bug so yeah kind of sucks to see that but it sometimes happens from time to time i hope board gaming does address this issue man it, it is so bad sometimes man in this case i would have set fires that i could have gotten a permanent fire on this power like here you can able to see i did double fires on this power so yeah you can just crisp burn every battleship out there but on the other hand you can able to clearly see i just use the heal again and now i'm again taken a massive damage from azuma as well as from the power so yeah thunder cannot tank the shells or the armor does not have enough uh, good values that it can be pretty good and here all eight shell hits <laughs> and got six non pens with i think with the hitting on that area and now have gotten a weatherer and you know what happened here main battery reload time reduced because i have andrew cunningham on it <laughs> so yeah andrew cunningham makes this uh, reload time even insane once you get witherer and you can able to see the reload time of these guns is now ridiculously insane 18.2 seconds or 18 seconds right now because of the <laughs> uh, damage that i'm taking uh, or the adrenaline rush that i'm uh, having so again i don't know why the shells again didn't get to the area where i want but uh, azuma just got away with this many many times it kind of sucks but yeah you can pump out pretty crazy damage with thunder like with he and ap and that's why it's removed from the game or from removed for the sale it's not removed from the from the game come on yeah, i'm still playing it so that's <laughs> understandable so it's removed from the sale because of that and it's now rated as a rare ship because of this insanity of he and ap damage output that thunder has does have fast reloading heals and obviously does have you know uh defensive AA as well so i mean if you have issues sometimes with the carriers and he is uh, slightly above average or average carrier player you can actually fend off some air strikes not the best a defensive like consumable uh, my, i mean the thunder a values is not something to brag about but at least it's still not bad three over pens of them poor of that poor shimakase <laughs> uh, spotted by jaeger which is nice the jaeger actually helping me a lot in terms of spotting and here again there is a new strishimi who actually i think accelerated on time uh, i was not expecting to do that but again i got a shell hit 2706 damage so <laughs> dealt pretty good like in 10 minutes i have almost 200k damage so that's the power of this thunder guns are pretty pretty spicy dispersion is pretty pretty powerful thing to see and look at that three shell hits and like did like 6k damage so that new strishimi well he does have super heal so he won't be having much issues to heal back some of his hp but that's still a really high damage you know with from he shells that i did to that poor new strashimi i asked jaeger to basically spot this new strashimi since jaeger has better consumer out of all tier 9 you know uh 
destroyers. Even though Nusrashimi also have very competitive concealment of 5.6 km, I think Jaeger can spot him. And I can shoot him to basically kill the Nusrashimi. Just like right now. I am just get spotted by the way. I'm j uh, like, I was spotted at this point. So I know that uh, Nusrashimi is somewhere around here. Maybe Jaeger spots the Nusrashimi. But now I am unspotted. Which basically means that now he is behind the island. And now I can't do much about it since he is behind the island. So that's okay, and now he's getting into the cab, which basically confirms this suspicion. But that's okay. I can push back and kill the Nustri uh, sorry, the Musashi and Azuma. Uh, Azuma, I don't know how he managed to survive the salvos of mine from AP, but uh, yeah, this person could be trolley for you know even for Thunder. So. This is something that battleships do suffer and I mean if your aim is a bit weak. In this game I had a bit of a trolley aim on these cruisers, broadside cruisers and battleships. Well, then you will have issues. But overall I think Thunder is a very solid pick. Like huge damage power to do damage. 200k damage, no issues. You can easily get witherers. I mean I got 11 fires in this game. I mean that basically tells a whole lot. That if you keep shooting shells like these you can just set fires upon fires upon fires with this like the like to put that in comparison of this fire chance midway the usa carrier midway has 63 percent fire chance on these bombs yeah the bombs have 63 percent fire chance and this ship has with one shell 63 percent fire chance <laughs> so what the hell <laughs> So yeah, we, you're just basically gonna cr burn the crisp of these battleships like crazy. Uh, I mean, and this Azuma could be very painful to deal with. Like he's just annoyed quite a lot, farming me hard there. But I know that uh, I have to kill the Musashi. But now he is dead, and that Azuma is again. He was so so good, uh, surviving my salvos, which kind of sucks. I thought the Azuma might reverse, but well, that didn't happen. So slightly, you know, uh, not able to manage that, ma manage that thing. But still, one shell penetration, pretty good. Still trying to farm me hard and getting fires on me. I mean, uh, the the thunder weakness is basically exactly that. You just cannot tank directly damage an Azuma with this good, uh, with this very, like relatively very accurate guns of these HE shells, which does a lot of damage, can be a problem or nuisance to deal. Here I just get, I mean, a couple of penetration and overpen, which is good. I mean, you can overman to Zuma. Oh, Azuma is not going to be a big threat, but hey, the Thunder is something a ship to reckon, uh, fo a force to reckon with, and I think its uh, its play style is pretty simple. You can push in once you are in a position to push uh, where there's not a DD, enemy DD that is going to constantly spotting you. And here you can easily push that, even though the Azuma could be pretty annoying at these ranges. Uh, you still have these guns that can overmatch them. So, I mean, for tier, you can even overmatch tier 10 cruisers. So, that is the Thunderer. Amazing. It's, it's, it's still one of the strongest battleships in the game. And uh, didn't felt like getting power creep right now. It, it's still pretty damn good. So, good credit earner because it's a premium status ship. And, well, you can see 223k damage, two Citadel hits, could have been a bit more, but it's okay, you have HE shells that can deal like crazy damage. Witherer, Confederate, Dreadnought, high caliber, pretty nice achievements. Team score wise, easy top. I mean, if you have Thunder, if you farm damage, you can get on top, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> and in this case, it's no exception. So detail report wise, it's gonna be a lot much more HE damage as you can able to see. Let me show you fires. 12 fires, 68,000 damage. <laughs> so yeah, insane fire starter. Very good, you know, a potential like to basically have, uh, you know, to farm, to tank damage, not farm, but to tank damage, and it's really good. Uh, as a battleship, I think it's it's a really really good ship to play, and it's really strong even. In 2024 and you can able to see that I did pretty good damage that new stream with those five HE shells so yeah they hit like a truck that's for sure so I hope you like this video if you like it please like comment and subscribe and I will catch you into the next one peace out